just a beautiful day. You guys see that right there? Rock chip. I uh, was on a two lane road the other day and a uh, stick wagon coming toward me slung a rock at me. get the uh, windshields changed because of the advisor. So I don't know. I may uh, spend the money so I can find some way to fill it so it doesn't run. I get another one or something worse than it changed when she It's called New River, but I don't think it's very new. I think it might be an old river. Popular camp must be a popular place. Uh, well, I, I'm trying to stay in front of this Celadon, this Dragonfly truck, without exceeding the speed limit. It goes Popo out of the middle. So, uh, anyway. Maybe it's still down or lose it right here. How fast still on go these days anyway, but he's uh, doing the dragonfly run. And uh, I'm trying to stay away from him. But it's not working. So. that bear come out of the middle to go get somebody he will uh, be on the side of the road here in a minute and we will have to get in the left lane but Celadon is uh, showing the world what he's got so we're going to let him go Trying to keep this gap right here. That way, if that bear has somebody pulled over down the road, we can uh, change lanes. And we lost our space. So hopefully the bear was just doing a flip. See brake lights up there and turn signals. So I'm thinking that the bear has somebody on the side. Yep, see that? See y'all got see how we read dead traffic? I know they're gonna stop. So, you know, you can't, I can't get over there because this guy wants to flip, flip and stop, you know. So we'll change, we'll slow down and, and uh, cover the zipper. People just, you know, but 
we should have uh, moved over, over and just gotten everybody's way because we knew what was going to happen. We saw it come out of the middle, and so we assumed that was gonna, that was going to happen. So we should have just took our slow butts to the left lane and ticked all these four wheelers off. So see, the struggle is real. Ah, welcome to the top of Fancy Gap. Kind of the top. One mile. I gotta get around Mr. Liberty. Mr. Liberty's doing 55 and 65 for whatever reason. I do not understand why some drivers just drive down the road with the you know like they are on vacation I at least want to run the speed limit there Mr. Liberty speed limit is 65 busy playing the radio or something I don't know Doing everything but driving uh, anyway so here's the plan we're gonna go down fancy gap there's no speed restriction on fancy well other than the posted speed limit today the posted speed limit is uh, 65 long grade trucks use lower gear I just said seven and a half miles uh, we are grossed out 79,960 pounds. We are not going to use a lower gear. So before you rookies start getting excited, in the event that it does, in the event that this Cummins X15 with its massive engine brake does not hold us back to 65 miles an hour, then we will drop a half a gear because I am capable of grabbing the gear I need going down the grade. They teach you not to do that in school because most times as a rookie you cannot get the gear that you need when you need it. But I can, I promise you. But I have complete confidence uh, in my truck. I do believe that engine brake will uh, will hold it. And if it does it, like I said, we'll uh, drop a half and I'm pretty sure that's all we will need. So, anyway, this, this is the view that I could not show you guys the other day because it was a dash mount, mounted camera. We, uh, delivered down there in the valley uh, last week that's where that nursery was is down there in the bottom so today we're on top and uh, we gotta get the gas but so far the uh, engine brake has done fine so we got one mile to the next runaway truck ramp. See the view? One mile to the next runaway truck ramp. So we ran this bend. We'll get back out of the throttle and let the jake brake take back over. And uh, hope she holds, her, holds us back. We have dropped down to... Uh, 62 miles an hour, roughly. Uh, so that engine brake is doing the deal. Isn't that a nice view. See, that's in the highest gear we got. Uh, an engine brake in stage three. 
there's a runaway truck ramp. I think we will pass this one up. So the engine brake would do it much better if we dropped that half a gear. Because that's in that that's in that tall gear, you know, and um, it's, it's designed to go fast. Big difference in that gear ratio. So that engine brake is having to do its job. Anyway, there's a way station there at the bottom of this hill, and uh, once we get past that way station, we'll stop there at the Flying J and get us uh, enough diesel fuel to get us uh, probably put maybe 100 gallons in it, or uh, well, we might just do 50 or 75. Just to get us to the, um, hopefully that'll get us past the way station in Georgia. And once we get to Commerce, we will um, probably just fill it up, be over gross going into Atlanta. Who cares? Ain't no, we no way station over there, so we'll be good. We uh, touched the brake once right back there. Mr. Knight down here is crawling. So we're going to cover our brake. I'm just going to drop it here a little bit because these cars have got to all get in the left lane. They're all bunched up. So we are prepared to do some braking because. Uh, See, even though we were prepared, uh, it didn't help. And you just cannot. You can't, I mean, you couldn't. I don't know what they were thinking, dude. You know, 80,000 pound rig coming down that grade of speed limit. Jesus. That uh, disc brakes worked pretty good, didn't it? Amazing. I had to stop that video right there and restart it. That way I got that, I saved that footage. Holy cow. See, I mean, even though we were talking about covering the brake and slowing down because we predicted that was going to happen, I didn't think it would happen to that extreme. Uh, but it did, you know. Those people almost died. I don't even know. They probably flipped me off thinking, oh, that guy's a jerk. I'm telling you, people, if it hadn't been for these disc brakes, that probably would have been really ugly. We will definitely load that footage because I didn't do anything wrong. Other than what I did do wrong, let me tell you what I did do wrong in that scenario. There wasn't anything to my right, but I, I gave up my lane. I did not maintain my lane control. So if anything had happened and someone hit me on the right, it would have been my fault because I did not maintain uh, control of my lane. Uh, but that was the evasive action I chose to take versus hitting the car if my brakes wasn't going to do their job. I didn't want to rear the car. I, that was my avenue out. I, I, I was going to save their life, you know. Uh, but I knew there wasn't anything on the right side, so I was choosing my pass, path of less resistance. But just so you guys know, never give up your lane. Maintain your lane because in the event of something happens, <clears throat> someone come and hit you as you were getting out of your lane, then it's your fault. But like I said, I knew there wasn't nothing on the right. I was choosing the, the uh, to save their life, you know. I would have went all the way to the right if I had to, uh, off the road. So anyway, 
fun stuff. See you guys in a bit. I wanted to mention that coming out Fancy Gap a while ago where we just about died. The reason why night was going so slow um, was because he was just a rookie, you know. I remember my first big hill as a rookie. I think it was over there on, uh, I've been 68. They had all them warning signs, and well, I was scared. I was going down there, four way flashers on, and we didn't have Jake brakes back in those days, but anyway, so he was probably just a rookie, and the uh, heel had him concerned. So, better for him to be going slow than, uh, than going too fast, right? So, anyway. We uh, was prepared for, but not prepared enough. And here's another night truck up here going slow. Probably the same guy. We stopped back there at the Flying J at the 100, which used to be something else. I've never stopped in there before, but um, got our fuel and I uh, went to grab a piece of pizza for lunch because my refrigerator is out of food. And I'll have you know, they didn't have pizza, so I had to get homemade meatloaf, mashed potatoes, uh, green beans, and cornbread, and it was uh, really good, so, and, and it was free, I got, I only filled up a pilot three times this year, because uh, I hate pilot, Flying J, uh, mainly because I live in a state where their headquarters are, and the governor's also our governor that is also the governor but anyway they uh, robbed the trucking industry which is how they make their which is their business is serving the trucking industry and they they embezzled lots of money from the trucking anyway so I'm not a big fan uh, I had like 95 we get like 15 cents per gallon as a uh, rewards for the moment because I've racked up a lot of money I got like almost probably now I got a hundred bucks or better uh, but anyway so I, I used my points for the homemade meatloaf mashed potatoes and green beans so not only did I not get pizza but I got free uh, meatloaf tragic but anyway I just wanted to turn the camera back on and uh Tell you guys why night was going so slow. He's going slow now because I mean, who knows? It's probably the same guy. Like I said, I stopped back there and got 100 gallons of diesel and a DEF and uh, took a 30 minute break. So now we are on our way to Commerce, Georgia. So if I never get out of this right lane, I'll pass these guys, but there's a lot of cars back there, you know. So the odds of them letting me out is slim to none. They say, oh, a truck. No. Hold them up a few seconds of their life, you know. Anyway, we're out, guys. See you.